Hi, I'm Aaron, and today I'm doing a unboxing of the new Silicon iMac that I got this week that actually came out on the 28th um, of July, of May, but I actually got mine slightly earlier than that. And one of the things I love about this is it's smaller, a lot faster, and you have the new M1 chip in it, which is just fantastic. Um, so here's the unboxing, and I hope you enjoy. So it's finally here, guys, the silicon um, Apple new iMac is here with the M1 chip it's been I've had the one I've got now for seven years they did bring out one last year but it was pretty much the same as the one I've got so let's go on to the unboxing of the new one shall we so here we go the outer box is being opened which I'm really excited about this. Um, I've been waiting for it since one o'clock. So oh, we're in the outer box, and here's the box for the actual new Mac itself. As you may be able to tell, I went for the green one. Um, so we're just about to open the main box itself. Which isn't that easy to open by the looks of it. So, uh, bear with us. Oh, the main box is open. You can see the screen. About to lift the main screen out now. And it's really skinny, a lot skinnier than the one I've got now. What I will do is I'll put the how skinny it is in the video. There's the protector for the screen to keep the screen protected showing off the sides the back which has a cover on it at the moment we'll uh, take that off and show you it with the cover off once we've got the other bits out Here's the keyboard. I've gone for the one without the numbers. Um, the beauty is with this keyboard is not only is it the same color as the main computer itself, it's also rechargeable with the lightning cable, which is also actually colored that you get with it. Now here's the magic mouse, which is the color of the Mac itself, but I'm not going to use it because I've got a mouse that's 
a lot easier for me so I'm gonna not use that one Here's the power cable with the brick on the end, which I'll show you in a minute. And that, what's unique about that brick is it's um, got an Ethernet port in it, but I'm going to be using the Wi Fi. Um, cord is the same colour as the Mac. The end of it, the bit that actually plugs into the back of the computer, is actually magnetic rather than an actual plug like you got on the one I've got now. So let's have a look what else we got in the box. So we got the lightning cable to charge the mouse which I love, it's actually the same colour as the main computer itself, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and we have the um, get the sale. And we have the plug for it, which is a kettle plug by the look of it. Um, so yeah, that's the plug. And I wish they'd done the plug the same color as the lightning cable and stuff. But, unfortunately not. Just having a look to see if there's anything else in the box. Right, all good. Main box is empty. Move the main box out of the way in a second. about to uncover um, the screen uh, from its protective covering There's the screen uncovered. Now what you might notice, still does have a projector on it at the moment. What you might notice is is um, the front of the screen is a different colour green to the back but I actually kind of like the way it's got two colours um, and it's got a white bezel around the front of the screen. Which I know a lot of people don't like the white bezel, bezel but I actually quite 
like this. And the white bezel itself and the whole design of the screen is bigger because they've cut out the big bulky outside of it. And just unwrapping the flag from all its coverings and what I'll do quickly is I will show you all the ports on the back. which are two Thunderbolts and two USB-C ports. Thunderbolt uh, three ports, I should say, or Thunderbolt four, I can't remember. I'll have to have a look and put that in the description. But yeah, um, and it's got the headphone jack on the side. Um, and the reason they've kept the gin, which is what they call the bottom bit, is because they've got the main computer in the gin. The rest of it is just all screen in the back of the computer. The reason I know that is because I've seen, I've watched the Apple events, like probably a lot of you have done so what I will do now is I will set it up on my computer desk and give it a shot of it on my computer desk. So I've done my unboxing for the Mac but I'm kind of a little bit annoyed with Apple. I love the Mac itself, but what's kind of annoyed me about Apple is I had to buy some extra bits, which was a USB-C plug adapter to charge my keyboard. A USB-C hub to plug my normal USB external hard drives in and the USB single adapters to go in the back of the computer to plug my time machine and stuff in. And nowhere on Apple's website do they tell you that? Absolutely nowhere. We looked everywhere. What they do tell you on their website is it's just normal USBs. So, of course, I didn't um, buy those other bits because on the website it said it was normal USBs. So I just assumed that it was normal USB. So I found out the day I got it that when we went to plug all my stuff into it, nothing fitted in it. So I had to spend another, I think it was a, another £149 to get these bits I needed. So, I'm just going to warn you about that, um, so be prepared for that, and Apple, if you ever watch this, please update your website, because that was really silly of you. So, that's it for this, um, my thoughts on this Mac. I absolutely love it. Um, we did have some issues which we sorted out this Just morning. Problems with logging in, logging in and stuff. 
But the actual mech itself, fantastic. Love the colour. The speed on it is immense. And the M1 chip is absolutely amazing. It adjusts to the light in the room, which is fantastic. And because of the graphics card that's in it, if you're watching YouTube videos, it looks absolutely amazing. Plus, you can still put it up on your TV, which is also a bonus. What I am going to do is once I've got used to it and used it for... Um, I am going to do a full review on it and tell you what I think of the whole thing. But one thing I, that really did annoy me is Apple not telling you everything. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts and the unboxing on this. Goodbye, and I'll see you later.